Good morning, and welcome to a Tech Talk Tuesday that's gonna get aired on Wednesday. And today we're gonna talk about a new rig, something that you guys are pretty excited about. There were a bunch of comments down below. I'm really excited about this because it's because cross season's done, and now it's gravel season, right? Gravel season, mountain bike season, anything with a fat tire, we're gonna go ride it. And this is gonna be the machine that's gonna make it happen. So uh, I'm new to it. It's a new bike in the line this year. If you're unaware of what this bike is, kind of what it stands for, how it works, all of the above, we're gonna give a quick rundown. This is not a Crux. It's not a big tire Roubaix. It's its own category, it's a gravel bike. And after you ride one for the first time, you realize that this really is a specific category now, and this bike shreds, okay? So, out back, mega clearance. We've got clearance for up to a 700 by 42 tire, or a 650B by 47. Uh, but if you're going for speed, you're definitely picking the big tires. Uh, so you're gonna be going 700s for sure. Uh, it's kind of like riding 650B on the mountain bike at 29. If you want speed, you go 700 for sure. But uh, 700 by 42 out back. You've got potential for one by or two by if you want to. It even has this swanky little removable derailleur hanger. So, but in a case like this, you don't need it. So, boom. Swap box capable, two bottle cages with a third bottle cage on the bottom, which is pretty sweet. I'm, I'm not a dirty Kansas person. It's 100 miles is already long enough for me, so I don't think I'd be tapping into that, but if you're trying to survive, then that might be the way to go. Up front, we've got sweet little uh, ports for uh, routing cables and housing. Makes it really simple for the internal routing, similar to the Crux, similar to the Epic, all those types of things. And then the centerpiece of it all, the Future Shock. All right, so this runs a, a different Future Shock cartridge spring than the Roubaix does. The Roubaix uses a linear spring. This uses a progressive spring, more rampage at the end. Uh, as you hit further through, or it's not travel, but as you get further into the, the squish comfort, it actually ramps up, and so it takes the edge off for off-road riding. And then you have your secondary spring that comes in three weights. Most of the time, you're always gonna be riding the medium spring, that's what I've got in here, but if you're on either of the outliers, you might want that. So that's the brief rundown. Now let's dive into why it's the Kid Kaiser's choice and what's going to be the uh, the setup of uh, of the winning gravel season. So I'm with the one by Mega Range cassette. So out back we've got the XX1 1042 spread, 11 speeds. This does require you to use the Force One long cage derailleur. So keep in mind that you can't just throw this cassette on with your normal CX1 setup or your cyclocross spacing setup. We've got a 44 chainring up front, so you have the ability to go up from there or down from there. 44 is what I rode last year in Lost and Found. I feel like it was a pretty good ratio. The year before I rode a 46, way too big. So this year, I'm gonna figure what I ran last year. Hopefully we get more, more power in the legs. Now, something super trick is I've got two shifters, right? But I've only got one derailleur, so Let's do the shifter run. Dropper pose. So set it up. Guys at SRAM helped me strip it out and we now have a one by specific, super integrated dropper post for the specialized command post. It's carbon fiber, just enough drop. You're probably thinking it's not gonna do that much. It does plenty, especially on this bike, but I run this on my Epic all the time as well. It's enough drop take the edge off and it doesn't add all that much weight to it. But I'm real fired up on this. First time I rode the bike, I had a 110 uh, traditionally angled uh, six degree stem. Now, I'm not a slam your stem guy, get hella aero kind of a bro. Uh, I usually run a few spacers under my stack on my cross bike and even on my road bike. But the front end on this is so much more slack that the angle on the stem, the head tube height is almost the exact same as a crux. So it's kind of kind of tricky this way. But because the angle is so much more relaxed, the stem angle starts to rise up, right? So it's kind of doing this thing. So I ended up having to go to a minus 17 degree stem to be able to, to compensate for that angle to get the same amount of drop. So it's not crazy low, surprisingly, but it looks like that kind of a bro. The down and dirty, um, 
yeah, pretty sweet. Hope you guys like it. And uh, got questions, hit me up below. Killer. And uh, there she is. That's a wrap on Tech Talk Tuesday that's going to get aired on Wednesday in our new vlog schedule. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Over and out. Peace.